What's going on? It's your boy, Be Nasty. So today, we're in a hotel. Mm -hmm. I'm in Eugene, Oregon right now, and it is pretty rainy. And we understand, sometimes you don't wanna jump rope in that. For times when it's snowy or the weather's just awful, we got a hotel room workout for you. And this is going to be one of the few times that you see our workouts without jump rope, but today, we're doing it. No jump rope, all body weight exercises in this room right here. So next time you're on the road, Pull up this video and do this workout because there's never an excuse not to do the thing. Oh, what's this? Oh, Zen Dude Fitness tank right here. We're seeing um, the Zen Dude Nation One tank tops because we like these. If you like them too, then it's linked up in the first line of the description and you can grab yours right now. International shipping, baby. We know we got Zen Dudes and Dudettes all over the world. So if you want a tank, you want to get your sexy on, click the first line in the description. Check it out. Don't forget you guys, before you get into this workout, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you never miss a workout from the Zen Dudes. We're gonna be doing five circuits total and within each of these circuits, we're gonna do eight different body weight exercises. Here's the thing you need to grasp before we start this workout. Tabata style means all out effort. So let's go 20 minutes as hard as you can, give it everything you have and let's get after it. All right, you know what time it is. All body weight exercises, we're getting started in three, two one first exercise is air squats so with air squats you want your feet about shoulder width apart maybe a little wider than that and you want to bring your butt down so you're creating a 90 degree angle between your calves and your hamstrings and really get in tempo now get as many as you can as 20 seconds all out effort through every exercise here here we go now we're going to take a little break chill you got 10 seconds before the next exercise we got front lunges coming up so Get a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, and here we go. Front lunges. Getting a tempo here. Again, we're creating 90 degree angles with just about every exercise we're doing here. So the 90 degree angle here occurs between your calf and your hamstring. So get full extension and explode up through your heel. Awesome. All right, rest. Take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Get ready for the next exercise. We got high knees. Really focus on exploding those knees up here. Here we go. All right, here we go. So what you can see I did here is I put my hands about uh, waist level. So every time I'm aiming at slapping my knee against my hand, that way I can make sure I'm getting my knees up and I'm staying explosive, making this the most effective exercise it can possibly be. All right, 10 seconds, chill. Get ready for the next exercise. We got more calisthenic work. We're doing feet front to back in three, two, one, begin. All right, with feet front to back, you really wanna focus on exploding off the balls of your feet and getting as many switches back and forth between your feet as you can in this 20 second interval. So use your arms to pump yourself back and forth so you can get as many in here during this 20 second interval. Here we go, two, one, rest. Now, as you gather your composure, take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, control your breathing. We got walking push-ups. We got walking push-ups coming up next. Now we want full extension, a push-up, and if you can't do normal push-ups, do the same form, but as you come down, come down to your knees and do a knee push-up. And again, the 90 degree angle here is between your forearm and your bicep as you come down in the push-up. Awesome. All right, rest, the next exercise coming up is a plank. This is an exercise we really want you to catch your breath with, but also make sure that you give it everything you have here, keeping that core tight. Here we go. So you wanna bring your shoulders away from your ears and locked out here with your arms, keeping that core tight, that butt down, squeezing your belly button in through your lower back. Here we go, five more seconds. All right, take a rest, deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, get ready. We're doing the next exercise in five seconds. We got ab crunchers here. Ready, on your butt, begin. And so really keep this as a controlled movement. We're extending your legs all the way and pulling those knees towards your forehead. Don't crunch your neck here. Slightly just bring your chin 
towards your chest. Perfect. Resting here for 10 seconds. We got regular push-ups coming up. And if you can't do regular push-ups, knee push-ups for you. Ready, begin. And again, we're focusing on exploding through the palms or hands. And we want to create that 90 degree angle between your forearms and your biceps. Get in a nice tempo as many as you can here. This is the last exercise of this circuit. And you are done. So go ahead and rest one minute and you're gonna come back and do this three to five more times. 